Squarespace e-commerce tutorial for beginners how to start dropshipping business with Squarespace. Hello guys, Celia here and today I'm going to show you how can we easily create an online store using only Squarespace. So let's get started. Simply we need to come to squarespace.com and if you are new you need to click on get started somewhere or I'll just click on log in to continue with my Gmail account because I already have an account on Squarespace. So we'll come to our dashboard where we can easily manage our websites. You can manage your online store after creating from this page. And on the domains folder, we can simply get a domain or transfer a domain from other like platforms. So let's click on create website to start creating our online store. So in the type, I'm going to choose the online store and in topic, I won't choose anything because all we need is just a structure because we'll customize every single part, we'll customize every single product on our like website. So it doesn't matter, is it like website about food or art? So I'm going to find something which is suitable as for me. And I think this one is pretty good. So let's click on preview. Of course, we can create an online store from scratch, but I think it's much easier to start with a template. And after that, you can easily decide is it suitable for you the, to use Squarespace so you can easily like to recreate something. So I think this one is pretty cool. It's also, the re also responsive for different devices. So let's click on start with design to add it to our dashboard. And in a few seconds, everything is done. We need to set up our site name, let it be like online store like this. Let's click on continue, next, next and get started. And here we are on our homepage where we can manage all this stuff. And the most important is for us is design, commerce and marketing area and of course some analytics. So in a design, firstly, I want to change the style. I'm going to click on site styles, fonts and I'm going to customize the font pack I'm going to use. As for me, it's pretty cool, but we can choose a template and like change all the fonts together, not in like to just, for example, this element and then just change. So for me, this one is pretty cool. Let's click on save. And also I'd like to change the color split. So I'm going to save, wait for a little and let's go back to styles and I'll change the colors. So I'm going to click on edit color palette. And from this page, I think I'm going to use this one here. As for me, it's pretty, pretty cool. So let's click on save. And in a few seconds, our template was already customized with like uh, color settings and font settings. So let's go back to colors, size styles, and we'll close. So we'll come to our editor page where we can change every single part, for example, products, uh, like background images, something like this. So let's try to name it like helper mon store. So let's click on save. And let's go to our product management. So let's click on exit to come to our managing page here. I'll go home and we need to go to commerce area where we can set up our store. So firstly, in the left side, there is like a option we can deal with, with orders, inventory, customers, discounts, memberships, products on Facebook and Instagram and like Google shipping. As you can see, we have like option to start selling on Squarespace. We need to set up like products, payments, subscription, publish and so on. We can uh, start when we are ready. When you're ready, subscribe to publish your site. So basically we can easily start it for free. So let's go to products area and here we need to uh, decide what do you want to sell physical product like digital, digital uh, memberships, scheduling, services, gift card or some video or demand or we can import them from Etsy. So we just simply need to connect our Etsy shop here. So here we are on our product area. Let's click on add product, choose some maybe digital download, I think. And on this page uh, here, we need to set up our product name. We need to add the name. We need to add the description, add some personal info. And of course, add some images. We can create them with Canva or some other like design websites and then just click on save. 
and and if after that all the products will be added on our shop here and we can easily like uh, manage them from this page so let's go back to commerce and um, we can add a lot of different products basically let's go to payments area where we can add the connect payment processor we can use like stripe paypal square and so on and it's pretty cool so just simply click on connect and then just connect your stripe account so let's go back and from the inventory we can manage like products as you already saw uh, in the customers we can find all the customer information we are going to deal so if they feel some data we'll get it right up here we can find the leads area customers first time customers repeat customers and so on and it's pretty cool so we can find all the information in this folder in discounts area we can add different discounts we can uh, use like active scheduled or inactive so called like archive or discounts and it's pretty cool if you'll go back to home area we can also find the analytics where we can find the all the information about our sales like revenue units sold orders conf rate and some other statistics we can find the traffic information and so on so for commerce they have like sales by product purchase funnel abandoned cart and so on so this is a way of how can we interact and of course to edit something we just simply need to click on edit and we'll come to our editor from this page we can manage every single part of our website as i already said firstly we need to customize so we can just simply click for example here click on edit section go to background and we'll change the background go to replace browse from stock images and for example if you're going to like say sell some nature uh, options we can just simply change it to the nature style and in this case we need to interact with every single part here for example also here change maybe uh, some text and so on so let's go change this one browse from stock images and i'm going to use this one here and when everything is ready we can just simply click on save and then just exit and we'll come to this page we can discover all the subscription plans as you can see for e-commerce for online store there's like two plans basic and advanced 27 dollars per month and 49 and we can save up to 25 percent annually so yeah uh, we can discover the differences right up here as you can see there are a lot of options we can use and there is like some differences between basic and advanced plan so you can we can easily start to build our store for free and after that to start the drop shipping we just simply can activate this basic plan and start it with only 27 dollars per month to discover is it suitable as for us but basically yeah this is a way of how can we use squarespace for drop shipping business um that's it for this video if you have any questions you can write them in the comments below and i wish you a very good day goodbye